So we were homeschooling our children during COVID, but as they started getting older and the curriculum became um, more substantial and more formalized, I began seeing firsthand how um, significant learning challenges and it was becoming really a bad environment for the two of us. It was becoming very combative between us. I also have uh, a family history of learning disabilities. So I it became it was very familiar to me what I was seeing. I saw it in my own family of origin quite frequently. And we actually live very close to Aerosmith. So we've passed by the school many times. And originally I was considering still homeschooling, but maybe getting some help. Uh, with the learning challenges. So I was just researching around. I remembered Aerosmith from passing it. I looked them up and very quickly booked a session to um, have him assessed. And then he was in a part, part day program starting September. Nothing surprised me. Um, it perhaps was a more detailed understanding of why certain things were the way they were but there was no surprise it was well actually one of the things i quite liked about the assessment specifically with aerosmith is they didn't throw around sort of very generic terms that almost stop meaning anything when they're so broad mm -hmm. um and they really honed in on exactly why oh that's why that happens oh that's why that's hard so it was much more of a road map a very clear road map to what exactly was going on, where the confusion lay. For me personally, um, I was so at my wit's end um, emotionally um, and I wanted him in a program yesterday at that point. Okay. Um, and we really pushed to get him in as soon as possible and the school was super accommodating, which a lot of schools, as you know, are not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you passed the deadline, too bad for you. Um, but obviously there's none of that with Aerosmith and um, they were super accommodating and they got him in really fast. So the cognitive functions was not something that I'd ever even thought about. And so to be able to see, first of all, how each of them is broken down, not only allowed me to understand Lev better, but like I started realizing things about myself. The surprise is understanding how many varied ways there are to, to think and how your brain works was very eye-opening. And uh, so that I think was the most surprising that it wasn't like, oh, here's an ADHD diagnosis uh, it, or whatever. It's here is the areas where you where you know you are struggling and also those areas where where you know you excel. And like I think Olivia was saying was that you know to hear where he excels is hard to teach, where he uh, is having trouble, we can teach. When I often talk to other people about Aerosmith, the thing that I stress, is that many other programs that are either in in a school or outside of a school they they uh, kind of provide band-aids to kids who have learning struggles mm -hmm. but uh, but that never helps them deal with the core issues at hand that will ultimately continuously come up through life in a, a variety of ways and what's different about aerosmith is that it gets to the core issue and help strengthen an area it basically unlocks an area of their brain so that it's not a constant crutch in life the part of the homeschooling that you that you maintained was that open curiosity and that like the learning the stuff that he enjoys like he didn't learn about you know free cambrian creatures at aerosmith he learned it at home so you're able to utilize that time to foster um, the things he really wanted to learn about utilizing the tools that he was learning at Aerosmith. So yeah, you might not have sat with him and done math homework or reading, uh, you know, exercises, but what you were doing was the other part of homeschooling, which was a huge reason why we started in the first place. Um, being able to have more emotional regulation was, I think, the first thing that became more apparent. Uh, listening to instructions as well, which were both those two things were, I mean, they still do remain to some degree a challenge, but nowhere in the same realm as they were prior. I I mean, prior it was Lev put on socks turned into a full blown meltdown. And, and now he could do things like wait in line calmly, get himself dressed, get ready for school and, and be responsible enough to do those things without having outbursts. So those types of things were the first things that I noticed. And then I don't remember the exact point in the year, but probably towards the end of the first year, we were no, no, maybe halfway through and then progressing to the end of the year, we were noticing big, big strides in reading. 
which he was, like, was not capable of doing before. Um, uh, one thing I do want to mention through the summer is I noticed a humongous dip in behavior when not being at Aerosmith. I think a number of things, I think for sure the structure, but also sort of the constant reinforcement of, you know, emotional regulation of, you know, thinking before acting of, of, of the entire principle of the school of, of using your mind in a way that's uh, strenuous um, and being accountable for behavior helps him tremendously like he is not the same person in the summertime as he is <laughs> during the school year but as soon as he goes back to school he comes back which is surprising because i would have thought he would find school exhausting and come back in a worse mood but i've actually found the opposite where he i think utilizes like all of his like hyperactive interest and then comes back in a better mood after hmm. school if the school is able to take over sort of the more challenging elements of it, wherever the 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 kid is having having some some struggles, the parents the part where the parents I think are getting more emotionally taxed um, is probably the areas to focus on. So like I think for for us it would have been sort of that like just like reading as an example, being able to sit and and sift through you know some some of the, the more challenging things so that the parent can focus on the enjoyable parts of homeschooling like learning about topics that they're interested in or going to a museum or doing lego or all the other positive parts of homeschooling um, that a lot of parents <coughs> you know well a lot of the reason why the parents decide to do it in the first most homeschoolers enjoy the parts of homeschooling that really are super creative and super open-ended and where they really see their child honing into an area of interest and going much further than they would be in school. Yes. And so to sort of explain to the parent that, you know, most of the times with, with kids who have learning challenges, there's it's not a deficit, of course, in intelligence or interest or creativity, but there's a roadblock into them accessing that part of themselves into really growing and to sort of present it like how much better their homeschooling experience could be how much further they could go if they had that roadblock removed with help from Aerosmith. The other thing I, I would say is uh, is flexibility, you yes. know, because that's another, another part of it is that at home, you know, one of the big benefits of homeschooling is being able to be flexible. And so to say, OK, you know, we, we want them to do, uh, you know, whichever one of the cognitive exercises, and then you can be flexible when it happens and what manner it happens to be able to work with the parents um, so that if there's something unique that comes up uh, that they want to do, that you know they can work around that. Yeah, uh, yes, I, we, we found that to be very true for Aerosmith as a whole, whether or not we, we were homeschooling at that time, is that they were always very flexible and not rigid about you know vacation schedules or after school activities or whatever and i think that's a big benefit for homeschoolers because most other places will not do that they will not say you could come half a day they will not you know or anything like that so that's a huge benefit i think also another thing that a lot of homeschoolers are always worrying about is socialization and to come at it from that point as well that while they're at school while they're dealing with this you know um uh, cognitive roadblock they're also uh, you know killing two birds with one stone and being exposed to other children around their age maybe kids who they can relate to better because they struggle with the same issues so it's it's meeting two needs that most homeschoolers worry about which is isolation mm -hmm. and um, obviously learning learning issues as well it could only benefit it there's no downside to this